Hey guys, it is Roxy Rolls and what's up? And today we're visiting the Bass Pro Shop in Bristol, Tennessee. So today that's going to be our adventure. And I'm here with a very special person. What up? Here with Blue Sunshades. Blue and yeah. Blue <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> and we're going to go in here today. So let's get right in today's video. Yeah, we're at the outdoor world with the Cabela's too, and the tracker off-road with the bowling alley. So yeah, let's go in. I love the cabin vibe. It really matches the scenery. Ooh, I love the lantern too. And if y'all have ever been to Bass Pro Shops, it's not the same everywhere, but they also got some animal footprints. And yeah. Ooh. It's nice in here. I love the cabin vibes. So yeah, let's look around. Ooh, I love this fireplace here. That's nice. We're going into the story area here. Also to point out, I love the paintings I got on the top here. Got a lot of decor here. Bristol, Tennessee sure is a nice place. We're gonna go visit the fish area in the distance. That seems pretty cool. There's quite a bit of fish. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. Some of them are, yeah, some of them are huge. Isn't there a list of like... Look at that one's face. Isn't there like a list of the species of fish? Yeah. Somewhere? Let's go look. Let's see what we got here. What, do they, do you think they have all those types of fish in there? Sure. See, we got some white bass, yellow bass, a lot of bass, isn't there? Yeah. I guess that's why it's bass pro shop. <laughs> See what I did there? Bass, bass, bass. trying to pick out her some hats here. Those other ones are way more colorful. We're gonna go back to the fish here soon, but I think me and Blue Sunshades here, AKA Kayla, we're gonna go pick out some hats real quick, get some merch. I mean, gotta represent. I mean, why not? Why not? They're over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, here they are. We picked out some hats. Yeah. Yeah, they do look a little tall, but we got some like hats. We got big heads. Yes, we got hats, guys. They look so real. See some fish in there. If you can see that, little dude. 
I never knew they actually kept fish in here. Which one's your favorite? Um, I like that big dude that keeps swimming by the... Yeah, the big fat one. Yeah, one of those sucker fish. I don't know what kind it, of I think are. it's that one up there. Yeah, the one down at the bottom. And yeah. I like the catfish too, but I didn't see them before. Uh, and all the ones with the cool scale, like the cool patterns and stuff. Like, he's cool. I like all of them. I've seen one of them with the nose piercing, or I mean a lip <laughs> piercing. It was pretty cool. So. Pretty radical. Oh, we're all gone. Yeah, there's a few catfish. They used to have bigger ones, but there's not quite as big ones as there were last time. And there's a few down there. Yeah, I would love to have a big tank like that. Good. Would you fit this in your house? No. <laughs> My house is about the size of it. Oh, there's a nice looking one. Some of these like to put on a show and they're really cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it with the fish. Yep. 
I love the fish crosswalk. That is cool, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Look, we got ducks coming too. Here they all came. Oh my goodness. It's funny. <laughs> Look at their mouths. What kind of fish are they? Carp? It's kind of like like fish. They're like. <laughs> They're so huge. Now the ducks are talking. Do they bite or anything? Uh, they'll eat right out of your hand. Do you want to do that? Do you want to let them eat out of your hand? See the duck beside you? Yeah. You'll be real still and hold your hand out, she'll eat out of your hand. Do they like people? If they kind of get friendly, if uh, I guess. people are feeding them. She don't know you guys, she'll lay down my hand all the time. Does she stick around? Yeah. And Susan, if I'm here by myself, she'll come every time and I'll feed her. Yeah. These things are cool. <laughs> the ducks keep gobbling it up before the fish do. Yeah. Do you get a lot of people around here feeding the fish? Oh yeah, they eat about 400 pounds a week. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's kind of like the draw card for the kids and stuff. Yeah. We used to come here a lot, like when we were little and stuff. Yeah, I'm glad we're back here. Yeah, it doesn't look it, I don't remember all the other docks and stuff. Yeah, we built a whole bunch of new ones. Oh, okay. We built 42 new ones last winter, and we're going to build 42 more this winter. Oh, wow. Good deal. There's so many. <laughs> what do baby ones look like? I saw a smaller one in the mix, but that's, I'm sure that's... Blue gill. Oh, okay. Yeah. The babies... I got on the internet, you know, you've heard about carp all your life, you've been around them, you saw them. Yeah. And you can go around this the edge of this bank anywhere, and you can see baby trout, baby bluegill, baby bass, but you will never see a baby carp. That's wild. And uh, 
I got on the internet and started researching them. And they don't come up until they're considered adults. They stay on the bottom, but I don't know when they consider themselves adults. Yeah. And there's one in here. This one is solid white. Okay. And it has one black spot on him about the size of a quarter. I caught him floating out here one day when I came in. I snuck over here and got his picture, and he is gorgeous. Yeah. So they're pretty rare? Yeah, that is very rare. Mm -hmm. But we've only seen him a couple of times. There he is. See the one with the gold? Yeah. It takes 40 that years. One there? No, he just went that way. Oh. I missed him. Hopefully it will. I seen him just for a split second. Do you name any of them? Nah. But the, the big one with the gold flakes we saw in Grandpa's used to be in so <laughs> yeah. long. Yeah. <laughs> You're alright. <laughs> it's so funny how they're so comfortable coming up because usually when you throw stuff in the water fish don't come up at least it's yeah. not that visible once they realize it's a reward that convinces <laughs> <laughs> them and like All right, you gonna feed him more? Yeah, I've been throwing some in there occasionally. <laughs> I love when they open their mouths. How's it feel? I didn't really gobble my hand or nothing, but they feel really gross. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> oh, yep, it's see. going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a boomer. And then they're all. They feel so good. Like the fish things feel so weird, but it's almost almost satisfying. <laughs> you can hear them under the dock. <laughs> Wonder if they get bullied by the ducks. <laughs> Thanks for taking me down here. <laughs> Hey, we just went, witnessed a duck scratch its head. Gold one. Right there? Yeah, he popped up right in the center a second ago. 
I bet I got it on film. You get fed 400 pounds a week. That's crazy, isn't it? That one looked... Yeah, it would be so unfair to fish for them, though, because they're so domestic. And they're, they're huge, like too. Yeah. Like, they're comfortable with you touching them and everything. I mean, what average fish lets you do that? Yeah, do Ow, the bee just stung me. <laughs> stung you? Yeah, yes, it stung me. So guys, I got stung by a bee. <laughs> right there. I think so. Yeah, that's him. I didn't know there's such thing as albino carp though. Yeah, lots of like you can find albino fish in the pet stores and stuff too. Aren't most of the albinos like hybrids? I'm not sure. I thought it was just like a weird genetic thing that happens. Or not weird, but just like unique and rare. Let me finish it off. At least we got to see the golden one, though. He said after 40 years, you get gold scales, and then after about 60, you get silver. It's like a life reward. <laughs> I think it'd be a sight to see. Yeah. All right, you want to do it or me? You can do it. Oh, if you get the dusty stuff, it's always the best part in cereal, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. It's around lunchtime, so they got their lunch feed. Yeah. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video today. I had a lot of fun on today's adventure. Before the video ends, uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and bye!